All right, well, we're uh, starting a new project here. Uh, let's give you a quick rundown. All right, I got my my crew here helping me today. It's a Sunday afternoon, so everyone's at home, and so we're just gonna tinker away. Got the wifey working on loosening up the front lugs so we can get the wheels off. Had her help me take the hood off already. I gotta take this other front tire off, and yeah. This one, this is about how we got it besides the hood being taken off. That's how the front end was. I drove it home like this. Actually, it drove all right. So, I think if I remember right, it hit a guardrail. But, um, it's got some hail damage and stuff like that, but we're not fixing this one either. We'll about it for that. So, we're going to get the motor ripped out of this one and then. Uh, once we get through all through that, then we'll maybe uh, show you what we're actually fixing. So, oh, oh, He's fixing too. Kittle's working on fixing the little remote control car that doesn't have a battery. Are you fixing it? Oh, Daddy can't fix it. Dylan's fixing it. Whatever. Yeah. So we're just gonna keep plugging away at this, and yeah, I guess we'll check back in as we go. All right. So we got the car up on the jack stands here. We got the tires off. Um, yeah. Ripped out the rest of this little piece of broken plastic here, which had one working headlight, which I think was this one. But um, I don't know if you guys knew, but sometimes these cars come with these IKEA special, you know, you put together headlights. This one's a fancy one. It's a projector headlight. So yeah, there's that in pieces. But oh, next up here is I'm gonna probably get. Yeah, I could drain coolant and oil and get those. <clears throat> get, well, yeah, I get, get those drained, and then I'm going to probably pull this upper crash bar, this what's left of the upper plastic core support. Just get all these air box out of here and get to the motor mounts and just kind of, yeah, work on picking away at it and get things out of the way so we can get the motor out. So, and so I'm sitting here looking at this thing, you know, working on picking it away. I got my throwaway pile plastic pieces that are broken so far i'm just looking at it, it's like what the heck is this it, you know goes it's going back to the alternator it's like okay this is weird they ran the wires you know out that way and then they ran secondary and then i was you know kind of looking at it went oh it's literally a an air duct for trying to keep the alternator cool uh, uh, that's a first for me seeing. Never seen that before. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep putzing away and eh, power steering didn't work. Wonder why. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this air box out, battery tray out. I'm gonna get the radiator and condenser out. Yeah, or actually, this front one is a power steering cooler, which is. Ram back into the radiator. Yeah. Look at all these hose clamps. I get the power steering cooler off and get the radiator off. AC condenser is that too. Oh I see. Alright. That's what that is. But yeah. Just gonna put the coolant drain in here. Get most of it's out. I don't think this motor holds too much, but I'm going to say, let's see, 706258. Oh, that better not be miles because that'd be a lot of miles. But this motor was replaced at some point before the car was wrecked. So I guess we'll just keep picking away at it.
All right, I think we're at the point to hook her up to the engine hoist and take out the engine mounts and see if it'll pop on out of there. I got, oh, before I forget, I do have the fuel line here disconnect yet. I'll have to do that quick, but exhaust, I just cut that. There was a rot, really bad spot in the flex pipe, and I'm not planning on using the exhaust off of this, so I just cut that. Um, axles out on that side. I just cut the axle on this side because I couldn't get it to move. Um, unplug the computer. Unplug the fuse box harness. That's majority of the wires. Um, I'm going to double check on make sure there's nothing plugged in somewhere else on the transmission. But I think that all went through this main harness. Um, yeah. Just basically make sure everything's disconnected and undo it. One thing with these is... They have this one power steering line that loops all the way around with this banjo bolt. And all you really, it's only connected to the engine with the banjo bolt, which is nice. So, but yeah, I'm just going to get this hooked up and hopefully yanked out of here quick. Well, there it is, out of the car. This one fought me a little more than most of the ones I've dealt with before, but got her done. Ended up being that little torque strut in the back was fighting me. So, yeah, in the nick of time. It's time to go in and say goodnight to the kiddo. It's time for bedtime, so. All right, well, that's probably going to wrap. I think that's going to wrap this video up. Got the engine out. That's kind of what my goal was for the day. Um, yeah, so this is a different car. The CC I put on hold for the time being just there's some stuff I got to figure out to move forward from where I got it. Um, so yeah, so this is the first part of fixing not this car, but actually another one that you'll probably see in a future video here. So um, yeah, stuff happens, opportunities come up, sometimes you got to jump on them. Um, don't be afraid to go out there and take a little chance. Uh, go fix something, uh, please like subscribe and uh, look for another video eventually when it shows up thanks for watching